Adams. Oh, sh what? Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey guys, what's up? Dark Owl here. We're going to do a quick riding video on this. Um, just in my neighborhood. I'm just trying to put more miles on it as much as I can before I can get it on the main road and uh, actually get a top speed for you guys. Um, again, I've got a 12 tooth front sprocket up on the front, something I already had before. And then um, it's got the stock 47 tooth in the back. So I basically just dropped down one tooth in the front because it comes with a 13 tooth to begin with. Um, I think everything's pretty much tightened down and loctited. Um, I, another reason for riding uh, uh, when I can just to ride it and break it in um, is not so much just the engine, but also all of the moving parts. Um, every time, me personally, I get a Chinese bike, I like to ride it as much as I can. Uh, and especially with this bike, take it off some, uh, take it off road a little bit because that's what it's meant for, and just see how all these nuts and bolts hold up. Um, that's something I think everybody should do is to just you know, put it together, ride it here and there a little bit. Nothing far or crazy trips right out of the, you know out of the gate. I guess you could say. Um, that's just me. That's what I do. Um, I like to make sure everything's nice and tight. You know, it's just peace of mind. I know name brand bikes, you shouldn't have to do, you, you don't have to do that, and you shouldn't have to do that with this, but for me personally, again, it's just it's just personal preference and peace of mind. So uh, it's fueled up, ready to go. I actually put one of these ugly-ass mirrors on it, um, just so I have something to see, because I don't like looking behind my back, and we got to keep it legal. So let's go ahead, and I'll show you guys how to start this. If you're not familiar with dirt bikes or any type of dual sport bike, um, the choke is right here if you can see this this little lever right here that is the choke with this bike it can start in any gear um, there is no kill switch with the foot or excuse me not the foot pedal there's no kill switch with this with the um, kickstand being down so it can start with it being down or up uh, the main thing is with this you either have to use the foot brake or the handbrake to start it so that's what we're gonna do right now and uh, we're gonna pull the choke it starts right away, but it's very cold out today, so I'm going to hold it down just for a little bit for it to warm up. And then once these RPMs start to go down a little bit, that's when I slowly let out the uh, choke. So if you can hear it, it's, it's slowly starting to come down. There we go. You can see the... Uh, so it should be okay. We should be able to let it out. And there we go. It stays running, hopefully. Nope. Too soon. It's very cold, so I'm going to keep the choke in just a little bit longer, slowly, there we go, it should raise the RPMs, nope, it's still too cold, come on, it's very cold out today, it's only 30, 33, so, there we go, there we go. It's really smooth. Also, I'm hoping this camera... Uh, ...picks up all the qual audio quality. Without the wind noise, because this is a different helmet, so... Um, hopefully it should be good. The gearing... Uh, since I did drop it even out of the box the gearing with the 13 tooth in the front It's very short So I'm already in fifth uh, each gear maxes out pretty quickly This thing does uh, This thing can lift up pretty easily especially since I dropped it, uh, down a tooth in the front. It's super smooth. If you guys are familiar with X-Pro bikes or any Chinese bike, um, sometimes it can feel a little rough and the ride can feel a little rough in general. It can sound rough too, in terms of like the plastics or the fairings. There's a lot of vibration in these bikes, but uh, 
This is actually pretty damn solid, as I stated in my first video. I still have plenty of throttle, too, um, to, like, really rip it. So I'm thinking if you gear it right and you upgrade your carburetor, maybe a little better bit better octane a higher grade of fuel maybe even a colder plug performance plug um, it'll be a lot a lot more fun than what it already is to me because it rips it rips really nicely and it sounds healthy there's no weird vibration sounds no plastic sounds nothing crappy sounding about it which is awesome it feels like a premium bike and this, again, is not my first Chinese bike. Let's see if we can get it up real quick. It popped up a tiny bit. I still have to adjust the clutch a little bit. I had to play with it because it was very loose and I did not like that. So, the actual throw or the engagement point where the clutch actually engages where you can feel it start pulling when you let the clutch out is very small right now which I don't mind but here we'll try clutch up in a second I'm gonna sit back a little bit <laughs> if you notice it does pop up pretty good especially if you sit on the back seat a little bit farther back Again, I don't want to be too hard on this engine. Um, with these Chinese bikes, again, it's just, you know, they are cheaper parts, they are slapped together. You can have issues with them. But for the price, if you take care of it and you do what you're supposed to, they will last a very long time. My first Grom clone that I got from Family Goat Carts, I believe that's what it was called. Um, Actually, let's go this way. When I got that, um, the only thing that I had issues with with the Teo Teo Hellcat, the fairings, the plastic was, it was horrible. It was not flexible like these are. This is pretty flexible. So chances are it will uh, have a little bit more give. But the Teo Teo Hellcat, that thing those things started breaking like where it mounted underneath the seat it, it would crack and break and just fall off and uh, that's the only sucky thing were the plastics that came with it um, I know with those also people have had issues with the gas tanks the spot welds in them are horrible also so after a bit I had issues with gas leaking. I replaced everything on it until I realized what it actually was. Would I still buy one of those bikes? Of course, of course, of course. Um, I'm sure a lot has changed. On those bikes. If not, since it is a Grom clone, the Teo Teo Hellcats, you can actually buy real Grom fairings for anyway. So it's just a matter of upgrading all the other little parts. I did have a motor mount break, which was not a big deal. Um, I just bought another one and it went in nice and easy and I didn't have any problems. Should you have to do that? No, I know people like to have, you know, no worries, hassle-free, when, when buying and riding, you know, you want to be able to ride things without having any issues. But if you think about it, a lot of cars and other bikes can have issues. I've seen people buy Yamaha pit bikes and dirt bikes and have some issues with them right away, blown engines, just because of uh, oil issues. It's just one of the things that happens. Obviously with cheaper Chinese bikes, you have a greater chance. But I can honestly say I only had a problem 
with my Grom clone, the first one, my very first one. I learned from all that. I'm very mechanically inclined. So I know how to mess with all that stuff and fix that and it doesn't bother me. It gives you something to do. Parts are very cheap, very cheap. And when I mean cheap, I mean affordable. You can buy uh, name brand parts for a lot of these clone bikes. And uh, yeah. Sun needs to come out. It's been foggy for like a damn week. Whoa, what's going on over here? Let's go see. Looks like these people were like arguing. Oh, maybe not. They went, oh, they went around to wait. There's like a yield right there where you can go halfway across the road, but looks like there was some road rage going on. That's what I thought was happening. It's very torquey. It feels very powerful for a Chinese bike. Now the Venom GTO or the Vitachi, whatever you want to call it, that they claim is 350. We're not going to get into that. On Venom's website, those bikes, I don't think they're available anymore. But they were, they were said to be tuned like a 350. It was a 223cc engine. But the point I was going to make was, is that it had, I think it was, it was definitely a five speed, but geez, man, I would go riding with people. It was a smooth, fun bike, but it didn't feel as torquey as this. The rear sprocket was so small. And again, with that bike, you couldn't upgrade the sprocket unless you found somebody, you know, that could make one for you. So unless you found somebody that can make a sprocket for you, obviously, like I said, you couldn't upgrade it. But the point I was going to make was with this bike, and I know they're different brands and stuff like that, but it's a night and day difference as far as 250cc bike goes. This feels to me like a 250cc, and that's mainly just because of the sprocket in the back. It's very big. Um, my fist is pretty small. It's a big sprocket. And the other point I was going to make about that... Is that that Vitachi Venom GTO bike that I purchased from Venom Motorsports? People pointed out that the front header or just the exhaust coming off, two cylinder, I believe, which is another thing, it was a bigger engine and it still did not seem powerful. It it got up to 75 miles per hour tops, and I feel like if it had a sixth gear, a better rear sprocket, um, you you probably could have reached a hundred close to it easily, possibly. I'm rambling here, but basically that bike and the exhaust, it would glow super, super, like really bright red. And uh, to me, that told me that that bike was running very lean um, from the factory. It did have a ECU. It actually had an ECU. It was a Delphi 250. So it did have tuning capabilities. It was actual, it was not a air-cooled bike. It was a very cool bike for what was on it but it did not seem it felt very underwhelming for what it was but uh i'm gonna keep doing some more writing videos guys keep the comments coming in i respond to all of them the best i can um i know that youtube studio the app is the only thing that shows me updated comments for some reason um i've had comments i, I went and downloaded that and i had comments from <laughs> like a year ago that I didn't see many of them so I'm not ignoring you guys I will respond let me know what you want to see with this bike or you know if you have any questions about it specifically I will definitely answer um, this is just gonna be a quick little writing video you guys know what to do stay safe ride safe and I'll see you guys in the next video peace